hey, hello everyone let's continue where we left in our previous video so we discussed in our last video till uh, uh, updating this knack value is x whenever uh, uh, ko pos value in ko np table is zero then it will update as knack value as x okay now let's continue from here and uh, if you want to understand uh, uh, from the beginning I request you to uh, go through my previous video on the same topic i have given the link in that uh, description you can go to the first then come to this video uh, as you see here uh, here the validation happening on the knock field that is KLMXZ. If it is KLMXZ, the loop won't run. The loop runs for second record. It, it will skip that particular record whenever it is KLMXZ and it will, it will run for second record. So here we can see that uh, what does it mean uh, KLMXZ? Uh, K means inactive due to calculation basis and L means condition exclusion header. M means inactive due to manual entry. X means inactive via formula of incorrect. And you see here in the KONP we have the KOPOS uh, field. If this field is 0, then uh, the Kinnock value will be updated as X, what we see here in the code. Now, uh, next to the code will, uh, if the check is satisfied, okay, the KLMXZ is satisfied, then it will go inside. Then now it will verify the uh, KONP data. So we have XKONP table is there. In the table, uh, we are passing, uh, um, so we are reading the basic data with that uh, KONP value. Okay. Um, you see here, it is validating the KSTEU field here. There is a condition control. If you scroll down, so this is a condition control. Uh, a for adjust, adjust for quantity variance, and if uh, it is changed manually, means it will become C. Okay, this will be determined based on the activity that we do, and uh, this information we can see in that. Uh, uh, in the sales order invoice, if you double click on the any condition type, there you can see this condition control field. So first it is verifying that k stat uh, KSTU condition control equal to A. Most of the times for the base price it will be A only. And uh, this is P R E I. This this is a German actually German word that means it's a pricing type. Whenever pricing type is not equal to E. If it is not equal to E, then it is verifying the condition record number is not initial. That means uh, XKOMV holding the condition record number. If K stat equal to A and the present tape is not equal to E and condition record number is maintained, then it is reading that KONP data by KONP. Uh, yeah. This is how it will read the KONP data. And uh, here we can see that pricing type in the copy control settings also. We can see the pricing type config. Uh, yeah, if it is not equal to E, then only the above code will trigger. As as I discussed the, about this pricing type in my earlier videos also, like uh, B for carry out new pricing, C for uh, copy only the manual pricing elements and determine rest of the condition types. D means don't determine anything. Just copy as this from source to target. We will continue in the next video. Thank you.